So the next thing I want to show you is automation items pooled. So our project set up here with a vocal. I want to automate or draw in some automation for volume. So I'm going to hit the V key, which shows a volume envelope and draw in some automation. Maybe something like this for each one of these notes. Let's say I'm happy with this automation. I want to copy it to other parts of the song. In this situation, this is a chorus, but I have three choruses that are exactly the same with the same vocal in each. So I want to copy the automation from chorus one to two and three. And the best way to do that is to first create an automation item. Hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, put our cursor in the lower left right here, and draw in an automation item right over here. So now we can move this very easily, just like any other items in Reaper. Now we could duplicate them by holding down Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and put them on each one of our choruses. And notice they all have a different number volume one, two, and three, because they're all different. So in other words, if I re-automate or redraw in chorus two, it's not going to affect chorus one or three. Or if I do the same thing in one or three, as they're all completely separate. So if I redraw some automation over here or down here, it only affected this one. But if I want the same automation in all three of the choruses, so if I change one, it changes all three. So they're mirrored or known as pooled. We could do that by duplicating a different way. So let's undo that. And instead, on the PC, we'll hold on Alt Control. And on the Mac, we'll hold on Option Command. Then we drag it the same way to duplicate each one of these automation items. And now notice they all have the same number, volume one. So now if I redraw automation on this one, this one, or this one, they're all going to change together. Like this, change this note, maybe the ending. Maybe drag it down like this, and each one changes together. So if we automate the second chorus, it affects the first and the third, or the third or the first. So they're basically linked or mirrored or what's known as pooled. So that's automation items pooled. Very useful when you want to mirror or link your automation from one section to another.